Hi guys, it's Elliot here from Elliot FPV Reviews and after testing these motors for almost 3 weeks, I think it's time to give my opinion about them. I've been testing the 2700 kV variant of this motor, so if you think about getting another kV option, the experience might be a bit different, but I'm sure they will also be great and mostly the same. Uh, I'm going to start with the durability of the motor. I think it's very good. I've already had some hard crashes and they still are as smooth as butter. T-Motor actually made the air gap between the magnets and stator a bit bigger so this motor would be more durable and I think this is a really great decision because I'd rather have a motor that's way more du durable instead of one that's only a little bit more efficient and faster. Speaking of the performance, I think this one checks all the boxes. It has lots of power and you never feel like you should be getting any more. What's also great is that this power doesn't come at the cost of efficiency. I can comfortably hit 2 minutes and a half with this motor. And this is when I'm really pushing it with an old 1300 milliamp battery. I also tested how long it would last if I flew slow and had a flight time of over 6 minutes. This that's incredible. This was a really big surprise because this means that at low end these motors are extremely efficient. It's it's yeah, it's remarkable just all things considered, I'm really happy about getting this motor. If anyone is still choosing what motor to go for, I strongly recommend that you try this one. In my opinion, this motor deserves some more hype around it. Racing or freestyle, this can do it, no questions asked. It's just a really solid motor and I really don't have anything bad to say about it. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions about this or anything else, feel free to ask them and I'll see you in the next one. Happy flying guys, bye.